all, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be doing a whip and chat. I'm gonna be working on something I haven't done before. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> I'm gonna be working on this image here. It's of Pikachu. I got this from Birdie Stitching. It's a cross stitch website and it was free on there. And the main reason I'm doing this is I kind of want to test out how a cross stitch pattern will look using round drills when the canvas is a blank white canvas. So I got this canvas from Robin last year. Thank you, Robin, for sending me the canvas. So this is just a small 20 by 20 centimeter canvas. The pattern itself, I think when I was counting the squares and all that stuff on this, is about a 14 and a half by 14 and a half centimeter one so there's only about like five centimeters around so and that's okay with me i want to put a bigger white background because the way this thing is there's like barely any white around the pikachu so i'll use a good chunk of white backgrounds here and like i said the reason i'm planning to do this is because i want to test out how a the cross stitch pattern will look on a blank white canvas and whether the white background will bother me because I am pondering whether to do one of my heaven and earth designs using my spare round drills, but I didn't want to kit up a massive heaven and earth designs one and find out that it doesn't turn out well. So I'm gonna do this small one Hopefully, I don't know if I'll do the whole thing. Well, I, I don't know how long this will take. This might take two hours more more to, to do. And I figured with the small one, I'm not giving myself a massive commitment. And if it doesn't turn out nice, it doesn't turn out nice. If it does, then I'll be like, huh, this might be a thing to do. So I didn't prepare <laughs> anything. I just have my spare storage back out here. I figure I'm gonna wing it. I don't even know if I have all the colors. I didn't realize until I was filling this out that this thing had actually 27 colors. And I don't know how much of each I need. I don't, this is all I got. I got this, there's the DMC code and then the symbol and I don't know what anchor means but I don't think it's the quantity because it says 3865 and 1 and that's way more than just one like I don't know that's just way more than one so I don't know where this is this these numbers are coming from so I don't know like I don't know what this means I don't cross stretch I don't know what anchor means me Maybe this is where you're supposed to put it on the canvas, like the one, and then that one is position 120. I don't know. I'm making this up because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, I haven't cross-stitched before, so I'm, yeah. So like I said, I'm going to wing it. And okay, so the one bad thing about this, and probably any round canvas I get, you're going to have like these guide circles here. And unlike my squares, I don't have that luxury of just drawing a black line in between. So I, so I at first used this darker, so I, I lined it in the back and that's why I have my light pad here. And if, you do, if you've been following my channel a while, you may know I don't use a light pad for diamond painting. I, I've, I, after like maybe the first 15, I stopped using it and I haven't really gone back except for diamond paintings that I just could not read without it. And my mentality is if a diamond painting, you can't read with, without a light pad. They didn't do a good job. So I'm just using the light pad because, so I can see the, oh, I forgot to turn on my, I'm using a power bank because I don't have a nice, easy, I don't have a long enough plug. So, um, so I'm just gonna use this so that I don't know if you can tell, so I could see the pink background that I drew on the back of the canvas. Um, and that way I could see where the t every 10 are. So yeah, like I said, I'm winging this. I don't know what I'm doing. So let's, let's start because I don't know, I'm going to start timing myself here. And I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this this one here. What is that? 351. 
I hope, I really hope I have enough drills, because I hope I turned off. See, this is, I don't know. Three fifty one. Oh, do I have enough? Well, this one I have more of. So let's do this. Oh, I should take off. The plastic here. Okay, I'm going to restart my timer. I actually paused <laughs> and I went and got some cover paper. This is just so that I don't mess it up too much. All right. So this is just like cover paper from some... This is just some cover paper from some double-sided adhesive diamond painting. And I just keep it because you could use this. Oh, I probably didn't need to pour it all out, but yeah. So these are drills probably from my mom because there's some different stragglers. Because if I, yeah. My, my mom is a messy diamond painter, so usually one of the first things I do is take out any stragglers when I'm diamond painting. So 351 starts out here. There is two. So I did draw the lines and I kind of centered it as much as I could in there. That has five and then that has two. I don't know how much I'll be able to talk and do this at the same time because I'm not really used to doing this. I was doing the heaven and earth ones but for whatever reason with the with the app it seemed like it was much faster and it looks different with these round circles as opposed to the grid. It looks really different. Um, than what I'm seeing on the pattern. So I think, yeah, that's three. That's, oh, I think once I get started, maybe it'll be a little easier. Okay, I'm, I'm actually just getting warm. I It actually was relatively co cooler today. So I actually have a sweater on, but once I turned on all these lights to record, it's it gets warm. I don't know if you realize I have a lot of lights. Oh, these are my reading glasses. I don't actually wear normally glasses, but I do wear reading glasses for diamond painting purposes. Uh, but it is just like the one, I don't know, the One X version. That's two and then three. So yeah, the temperatures have gotten cooler. I've, I'm pondering whether I should put away my, my portable AC units now or just leave it and wait. And it's actually raining today. It hasn't rained in a while for me, so substantially enough that it's stuck. So I was like, I was, I, I listened, I was like, huh, is that raining outside? Yep, it's raining outside. And yeah, no, this is actually the round one. At least I think if I was doing with the app, it would be much easier. I'm just, yeah, with the app, it would be much easier with this, I feel like it's not as easy. And doing the balloon, at least. The balloon. I can already kind of see the white background, so I don't know if I'm going to like it. But we'll just finish the whole thing, give it a chance, and maybe it won't be so bad after the whole thing is finished. Okay. I think I actually got all of this pink here. 
So, I did the balloon. Yeah, close up, I can see the white background. And I can see the guide circles. <laughs> oh man, I put it in the wrong bag. Oh well, it's too late. That's, uh... So I mixed the two shades. This is what I get for... Why did... I should have left the... Note to self, next time just leave both bag leave leave the bag that you're using and don't take out both bags. Okay. So now I'm gonna do whatever number seven is. That's 352. Hey, that's right next to it. Alright, I have some. Oh, there's a straggler or something else there. At least this one I, I should just fill in that, so that should be easy. Alright, so what did I do this week? So I'm actually recording this on 9-16, which I should write here. Started 9-16-2022, kit it up, not applicable, and the, because I didn't kit up. So what, yeah. So I'm recording this actually after work. I was thinking of doing this tomorrow, tomorrow for me, but I have other dumb things, videos I want to record tomorrow. I have like a whole bunch of unboxings that I have to record. And once my unboxings get done, there it gets messy. It gets messy in my room here so because a lot of things like get open so that diamond one is 3831 and it's easier to do this when things are not so messy all right i have a few oh no wait i have more for this one this one we'll use this one So yeah, things get messy once I start doing unboxings that I, I was like, okay, let's just do this while my room is not messy yet. So I decided to do just record this after work. Today, you know, I missed one of this piece here. What is this? I forgot. The, the one with the two dots is 351. So I'm gonna go get 351 again. I just need one more. See, this is why. Just need one more. Trying to diamond paint from the bag. <laughs> one more right there. Okay, so I need, yeah. So I decided to do this one today and so that it gets this video done. I'm actually behind on my videos, okay, believe it. <laughs> I'm actually also behind on my kidding downs, would you believe that? I had so many kidding downs out for a while that I was always a month ahead. And I am no longer a month ahead. In fact, the only video I have left is the video that was shown this past Monday. So I don't have a buffer anymore. I don't have a buffer. I'm not sure what I'm gonna kit down though because without my mom diamond painting as much anymore, I don't actually have that much to kit down anymore. But I that are normal diamond paintings. I have a whole bunch of special drill diamond paintings. I feel like I will never be finished kitting down the special drill diamond paintings. So that might be what I end up doing, my special drills. So that, you know, it just doesn't keep piling up because it seriously just keeps piling up. So I think I'm gonna do this purple one now. Purple is 208. So I have a good chunk of this one. Okay, 
So my balloon starting to look balloony. Can you see the white background? I could kind of see the white background. I'm trying to look at on my TV screen that I'm casting this to and I can see it from the TV screen. I could really see it from here. Okay, this is going to get where it's going to get harder. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I need three. No. Ah. Uh. I think it's, I'm not used to <laughs> using this thing. Okay. So I need three below this line. Here, that's that. And then three with two between. That's that there. Okay. And that's an anomaly. That's, that was probably a different color there. That one. And then that. Yeah, I don't know how much talking I'm going to be able to do. I actually have like my questions queued up over there. But I feel like I need more concentration. Yeah, that one. And so, so the at, at work this week, what did I do this week? I don't remember anymore. So I, if you watch my last whip in chat, I did mention that we had a power outage that occurred over Labor Day weekend. It was like the Friday before Labor Day. We had a power surge, like apparently a tree fell down on some line and then it caused a power surge and it fried it, i mean our surge protectors did their job but it fried a whole bunch of things we're still kind of recovering from it uh, like a couple places in the office building that is not the plugs don't work yet And we just got a part the part of a part of the lab that my group uses just got operational on the Thursday, so which is great because we were pretty much borrowing space from other groups and as much as it's it's like yay, we could get our work done, we're borrowing space from other groups, it's not the best not it's just not the best situation because you have to move stuff and the stuff sometimes it's just like yeah you just have to move like equipment and things like that and it's just not always the easiest thing to do I think I got my whole purple balloon here it's not always the easiest thing to do So hopefully that's the end of it because it was yeah it was just not an ideal situation so do this eight eight is 155 I was gonna say something like well you know at least so far I have all my colors <laughs> but you know I start saying that that's when bad things happen and I'm not I'm gonna run out I'm not going to have enough of certain ones, but I figured this is a small enough picture and I'm hoping I would have enough drills to finish this small enough picture. We will see. That was easy. That eight part. My purple tree. And for all I know, these, some of these things that I'm doing are actually in a different part of the pattern but for now I'm just kind of just kind of doing it as I go along and I think I guess this purple in the sides what's that one it's three three eight three seven I have so much this one this one's the main one
and I don't know what's going on. So, so next week, um, we have to do our lab safety audits. And apparently as a supervisor, I'm part of that now. <laughs> I have to go around and I guess find violations of the safety and and I'm assigned to a section that's not one of my sections, so which makes sense because because I will will probably be biased if I do my own section instead of someone else's section. So now I'm so we will see. I haven't done it before, so it'll be something new, something new to to do to experience, I guess. Okay, purple. I kind of feel like the picture has like a bigger contrast in the colors than on my canvas, but now that I'm looking, I'm like, it might be okay. It could just be that white background. It's like washing out the picture, but we will see. Three eight three seven. I think I'm gonna do this blue balloon next, just because it's it's been easier for me to just kind of work around the stuff. Since yeah, it's just been easier. At least this is mainly color blocked. So what is the blue? Is seven ninety three. I guess I could have kept this up before starting, but like I said, this was kind of me almost winging this, and I just decided just with this being small, it might not be worth the effort to kit up and just dump it with all my spare drills next to me. Okay, let's see. It's, it's on this part. Uh, okay. I think I need to move this one down a little bit. And it starts here. Oh, I turned off my... I didn't even notice my... So there's the... Yep, that line up there. It's actually here. Did I mess up? I messed up. I messed up. This, okay, this is where I was confused. This is actually supposed to be right there because someone, me, <laughs> messed up. All right. Man, putting that like that on, I'm just so not used to it. So then this has is two, one, two. So it, that. Now this is kind of an ugly color for the fl balloon. Okay, I, I would I would want it to be brighter, but that's just me because I tend to. If I wasn't doing this as a cross stitch pattern conversion thing, I think I would probably use crystal rhinestones for the for the balloons, but because that's just like another added thing about like, oh, let's go change things. That's just like another added like difficulty that I feel like this is really difficult um, to do that I just decided you know what let's just follow the pattern let's follow the instructions let's see this there I think my balloon I got that side of the balloon so now I'm working on the other side of this line here so yes um 
the, the lab was kind of semi uh, not operational for a little bit. We were kind of borrowing space, but it it worked out. It, one good thing is it's not as busy as it was in the earlier part of the year. So if this had happened in May, there would probably be a little bit more panic, at least from my group. But because this happened now, it wasn't as much of a panic, at least for my group. And this will go all the way up to the top there, so I need three. Like I said, it, I'm not used to doing this from a paper pattern. I'm used to kind of using that Pattern Keeper app. I, I, I guess I could have checked to see if this would upload onto the Pattern Keeper app, but it just seemed like too much effort for a small picture. Okay, that's two, just one. Sometimes I just use my multi-placer to single place because it's it's faster than me flipping around the pen. There. I think I got all of this light blue there. So my balloons are coming together. It just took me 20 minutes to do this balloon. Okay. Number one is 156. <gasps> I don't have any number one. Ah, ah, I don't have any. Okay, gonna have to find a, a substitution, which... Wait, closest DMC here. What am I looking for? Number one was 156. 156, let's see. I could use, looks like 794. All right, so let's hope I have 794. All right, I have, I have enough. It's, I only need to fill up that, so it's not like, did I use seven, is 794 in this? No. Is this enough of a contrast from whatever? Yeah, it's enough of a contrast. See, I'm not. I'm so used to not using the light pad because the light pad like washes out the colors while you're down painting. So, so I just used. Um, it's called like Threadbare. I don't know. It's. It's from threadbare.com or something, and it's a DMC substitution site. And at this point, I was just like, you know what? I just want to kind of get this done, so let's just find the DMC substitution there. I'm not sure how much. I don't. I don't. I'm kind of. I don't know if it's the white that is washing it out, but these inside colors are not that big of a contrast as it is on this sheet of paper. Like, I feel like the inside color just doesn't have the BAM contrast, but that's okay. So I did the blue flower, the blue balloons, or do the yellow balloon, or we'll save the yellow balloon because most of Pikachu needs that yellow balloon. So we'll do this green balloon here. So six is 7.04. I figured the yellow could be in the end because... Because it'll be a lot. Oh man, look at how, how much extra random colors are in here. My mom diamond painted something that I poured into here. Because I don't think my mom bothers taking out the stragglers. She just kind of diamond paints around them. <laughs> and 
And when I'm getting down, I just don't... I would have to pour it into a tray to get the extra stragglers out. Okay, so number six here is actually in this... Oh, I turned off. I just need to see my pink lines. So it starts out there and it goes down to the bottom. So that line does that. So what did I, uh, my, my light pad went out again because I'm, I'm using the battery charger thing so maybe it doesn't really work for what I'm doing. I know I forgot to do this blue around here. I'll do that after I finish this green. And there. And this. So nothing, nothing at all other than us just dealing with the fallout of the power outage. Nothing too crazy at work this week. I am going, well, I have it defrosting. Um, I, I had, so I'm hoping it's still okay. It probably is okay. In the freezer, I had a turkey for um, frozen for a while because it went on sale at some point, like really cheap. And, and so I bought it thinking, oh, I'll cook it at some time. Nope, it never happened. So at, at this, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to cook it now. So I'm going to cook a turkey this weekend <laughs> because I had one frozen. And I just, I was just like, it was just stuck in my freezer and it was just taking up freezer space. So I'm going to kind of make a Thanksgiving meal, kind of, because I'm going to make a turkey. And I actually do have, and I got some stuffing, because I kind of feel like when I have the turkey, I need to have the stuffing. Um, but I don't stuff it in there. I just cook it separately and eat it on the side. So $7.98. Gonna have some turkey tomorrow, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna. It, it takes forever to cook, though. I think I can't remember. I, I look when I make turkey for Thanksgiving. I just kind of look up the directions, like right before making it. Well, not right before, but just enough to know how many hours I need to wait for it. But since you know, I don't. I'm not. It's not like I'm doing a meal or anything. I'm just going to cook it. Yeah, no, I probably should just eat it for lunch instead. Start cooking in the morning. And we will see. We will see. Like I said, I have to look it up. I, I've, been, I've been recently cooking my turkey in one of those oven bags. And it just makes, the, it just makes cooking the turkey so much faster, I think because then you don't have to worry about the turkey drying out and you just kind of pretty much just cook it in its own juices. And that's what I've been doing. I have, yeah, I don't know if I have another turkey bag though. So if, it, if I don't, then I'm just going to cover it with foil and not worry too much if I dry out the, the, the turkey breast because I don't plan to eat the turkey breast. Um, as is kind of thing, it would be like a later on thing. I'll make soup from it. 
So, so when I make like the turkey, I'm actually more like for Thanksgiving, I w I'm more excited about making um, the leftovers from it, like making food from the leftovers than I am of the actual turkey and the oven baking is just mainly just to cook it. Because turkeys are so big, you can't, I don't know, at least me, I'm thinking they're so big, you can't really cook it more. So, so what is this triangle? 906. I notice I actually have a couple shades in here, but it's just, I'm just gonna do it all. It's not, it's, they're not too drastically different. So I'm just gonna cook the turkey just kind of, I think what I'm just gonna just do is just normal, just salt and pepper. And then I normally, I, I bought jalapenos. I usually cut up two, mm, did I do this wrong? No, okay. Something is, oh, I see. I see where this went wrong. This should be down that way. So then now this is there and that is there. And now that's correct. So I usually cut up like two jalapenos and I stuff it into the center of the turkey and and I usually also cut up a whole bunch of garlic and I stuff that into the mix it in with the jalapeno and stuff it into the center of the turkey and then I usually melt a stick of butter and <laughs> pour it over the turkey that is usually after you know salt and peppering the outside that's pretty much what all I do with the turkey flavor it with jalapeno and garlic and salt and pepper and then a stick of butter and then I bake it sometimes I put potatoes and carrots around it sometimes I don't it just depends oh no you some no, I think no I, and or sometimes I put just like an onion around it or, or put onion do I put onion inside I don't know sometimes I don't even know what I I cook, I just cook and I hope for the best. <laughs> okay, I think I'll do, my balloons are turning out okay. I think I'll do the, this black outline. So this is, oh wait, I should just do this number five. Let's fill that in, nine, five, five. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of have Set my Thanksgiving meal tomorrow. And then I'll probably make soup, some sort of soup, and then I'll make um, paxio, which is a Filipino dish that they usually use um, on leftover lichon, which is like a roasted pig. Um, but I use it, I make paxio all the time after Thanksgiving from the leftover turkey, so I'll make that. And I'll be able to freeze at least the paxio, and then I'll probably bring some when the next time I visit my sister so they could have some. Um, I'm almost tempted to just do the balloon and then just do Pikachu later on even though it's using the same colors as the balloon. But maybe I'll just do this black first. This bl black is 310. I do have more than what's in here, it's just in my overflow. And I'll go get it if I need it. Sometimes I don't end up putting the cap onto this, because, yeah. Kind of don't need it for this one because the baggies that I'm putting it back on is very wide mouth, so. It'll be fine. So like I said, I'm going to... Oh, if I did that wrong. There. Have... 
gonna do early Thanksgiving and then just freeze a whole bunch of leftovers make some soup I don't know if I'll freeze the soup maybe I'll I don't know freezing like macaroni soup does that work I guess I'll find out I usually have more people helping me eat the turkey, but that's okay. Alright, so this, that, and then this here. Did I mess up? Did I mess up? Okay. This is not supposed to be there. I don't know how cross stitchers do this, like how easy is it if you accidentally stitch something wrong, how easy is it for you to remove it? And did I mess this up? Oh my goodness. Okay, no, no, I'm right. It's okay. I'm just looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at the wrong thing. So if you mess up the stitch on the cross stitch, do you, how, is it really, really difficult to remove it? I would assume so. So, and it's relatively easy to remove a wrong placed drill. So I can't imagine how hard it would be to remove a wrong place stitch. That just sounds very difficult. Set that there. And okay, got that. And then now I feel like I have to start opening this up. That one's right there. I wonder if it would have been easier if I did this outline first. Do we do that one? It just looks really different because they're just circles onto this thing and they're circles on this thing and it's not a grid line that's on the canvas so it just having the circles there instead of the squares actually makes the canvas look much different and I think that's where I'm struggling a little bit so I'm not sure even if this turns out okay I'm not sure if I'd be able to concentrate with the the round circles on my canvas to do a cross stitch pattern with the to do a heaven and earth designs one because I feel like I'm having a hard time doing this one with the circles instead of a grid line because just like it just looks different or maybe I'm just not skilled enough I'm not skilled enough or it's just one of those things I just kind of have to get used to and then it'll be okay But yeah, I think I think it's the circles on the canvas is actually what's the circles on the canvas are what's throwing me off. And I don't think it would have been this hard if it was a grid. I am, I'm holding it right. Yeah, there's four there and then there's one. Yeah, it's the circles. It's the circles. <laughs> but I'm not I don't think I'm doing half bad. I'm not doing half bad. And it's just that I was able to actually talk a little bit more with doing the heaven and earth designs one and this one I feel like I need my full concentration. <laughs> All right. So, it's that middle line here and there's three 
I have skipped one and then there's three on that side. Just try, yeah, and then there. I kind of feel like, yeah, I need my whole concentration just to accomplish this. Accomplish it, accomplish. Okay, so I got that. Now I'm gonna do this. Uh, do I do that right? And then I have that three here, and I have that one there, and then over here I have two, and then here. Yeah, no, kudos to the cross stitchers. This this is hard enough already as a diamond painting. This is probably gonna be extremely hard as a cross stitch pattern. I think I actually wouldn't, this wouldn't be too difficult if it wasn't for the fact it's these, the circles on the canvas. I think it's really throwing me off. I was thinking of trying using, getting one of the diamond dots blank canvases, but those are a grid also, so I would think that that wouldn't work out either, because now you have the blonde underneath grid the that drills. Okay, I think I got that black part there. See, everything else was much easier than this, that... So, I got that black and then there's three here for the eyes which is on at the line but two above that one and three more on the outside two above Okay, I got, I got some outlines here. Okay, and then... This is one up over that with two beyond the line. And there's one more. And two above that is that one. All right. Perhaps I should just do two or the this one the, for the balloon there, and I get I'll get a whole bunch of Pikachu done. I should have maybe not done this black one yet. I was thinking the black would help me have it all outlined, but I don't think it actually is helping me. It's yep yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. So two from there and one below. But I'm gonna finish this black because I started it, but I think, yeah, no, I think, I don't think I should have done the black. I think I should have held off and did the black later. Probably just done the, that predominant yellow color because usually you know when you're done painting something um, I don't know about you but the black sometimes is one of the first things you do because just the outlining it helps a little bit well I don't know I kind of feel like the black helps find the other drills a little bit better but I think when your background is white. You don't have, it's not actually as easy. But yeah, I'm gonna finish the black. We'll see if I even got everything because I could totally see me missing stuff. I think I got all the black.
Okay. That was fun. I think I think I'm gonna do this blue section right here. It's the upside down L. It's three seven four seven. All right, so maybe perhaps I'll ask questions, it's pro answer questions, maybe it'll give me something to talk about while I'm... Okay, so... I think I should make the print bigger on my... All right. Okay, so Tammy Miller asked, um, in this video you mentioned sealers, did you find one that doesn't take away the sparkle from the bottom painting? Personally, I feel like all sealers take away something from the diamond painting. It's just a matter of how much are you, how much is okay, how, what is okay enough for you? So... I've I, I've been pretty much using just spray sealers because I'm I the the liquid sealers just take too like just take too are just too messy and I just prefer them and I my pretty much my go to really has just been the Cry, Cry, Krylon glitter blast unfortunately it's getting colder <laughs> and it's one of those ones that at some point in my winter. It's probably going to be too cold to use because, oh, I, I, because the the spray sealers have a what do you call that? A temperature range. So I'll probably end up going back to my Liquitex sealer, which I don't like as much, and I do think it does take away some of the sparkle. But it's not too bad. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, you kind of have to gauge what would you prefer. Sealing it and having the drills stay on. Which, FYI, I barely seal my diamond paintings. The only thing I seal usually are my partial things that have... That are, you know, not on canvases. It's just, yeah. It's Is it a, a matter of, like... Do you have to seal it or not? And if if it if I say not, then I probably won't seal it. But if I have to, I I will. I just realize I just have to resign myself to the fact that it will it will alter your image in your it will alter it a little bit. Some of them work a little bit alter it a little, bit, a little bit less, but all of them will alter it in some way. 341. <gasps> no! I don't have any 341. Okay, I need... I need a substitute for 341. Let's see, 341. Let's see. Pretty much saying 159 or 157. Okay, well, let's see. 159. Oh, I have enough 159, so. So while I'm done painting this, this is not going to be exactly as rendered, but hopefully close enough. Close enough up, I guess, hopefully for me. Okay, and... So what was I talking about? Sealers? Yeah, unfortunately, 
Sealing is one of those things that we sometimes have to do, but I do notice it does, it can take away, it can take away the sparkle a little bit. And I haven't found one that does not alter your final product, at least in a little bit, in a, some way. Whether it kind of adds too much gloss or it it dulls the AB drills. I think that's probably the main issue is dulling the AB drills. And sometimes you will get like pooling in the middle of the drills. So you can kind of see like the crustiness on the middle of the drill. So yeah, that's why I prefer the spray sealers. I don't tend to get that crusty in between the drills when apparently I maybe put too much. All right, so let's get, let's do this predominant color, which is number three. And it's this yellow, which is 972. Which, please have a lot, please have a lot. <laughs> I hope it's enough. Well, I have more of that one. Of course the one that I need a lot of. I don't have that much, but I really don't think I need that much. It's a tiny picture. So this might be plenty. Yeah, this is plenty. Look at look at how much drills that is. You know, it's just that when it's the predominant color, you want like so much of it. This is going to be Pikachu's color, I guess. 972. So Teresa asked, uh, so she has a lot of round drills. Does anyone make a canvas that is done with, oh, that makes a canvas with a legend and colored background without any drills? And uh, so I've done a coloring book image from, or I, started I, I should be like being like there's no done this is just i started a diamond painting from crystal canvas art designs that was a coloring book image but the thing is it was a coloring book image so you're getting the same problem as this with the white background and and you had to choose your own choose your own adventure so you had to choose your own um colors i don't know if there's ones that will just sell the canvas only with the dmcs and things like that and but yeah i don't like i kind of feel like the only ones i've seen that don't have the drills is the coloring book image but unfortunately those Unfortunately, those, um, what was I saying? Uh, unfortunately, those usually only have like two colors in there, black and white, and you're supposed to just kind of figure it out on your own. Okay, I messed this up. You know why? Because I missed some 310. There's some 310 that I was supposed to put in here. But I failed. Okay, I failed to put it in. That's supposed to be. I think I just need to just pour it into some tray here. That's supposed to be a 310. That is here. I failed to see it. I failed it. I failed there. And there's supposed to be two more up here. It's up from this and it's right here. All right, so I think that's the end of my <laughs> missing so the 310. So yeah, other than 
I'm I'm just I'm hoping that heaven and earth. So I, like I said, I'm do, I'm doing this to gauge whether I can use this for my heaven and earth designs using round drills. But I think doing this, I don't think I'm gonna do it just because yeah, these circles are really difficult to count for whatever reason. No, I messed up. That's too many. The circles are really hard to count because I'm looking at my picture pattern and it's a grid and then I see circles in here and remarkably that really messes up at least my perception um, of what I'm doing. So yeah, I don't, I, sorry, I don't know any one that will just print the canvas without sending the drills. I kind of feel like in the future, as diamond painting gets more and more popular, perhaps that there'll be more opportunities for things like that because people want to diamond paint with their spares. People would want to diamond paint with their spares and and in the whole scope of things, this whole diamond painting hobby is actually very, very plastic intense. Like everything is wrapped in plastic that it would be great to have some canvases printed without the drills. It just won't be that mass market appealing because a lot of people probably do not diamond paint as much as I do and probably won't have the right amount of spares to finish a project and folks want to be finished with a project and I'm, I'm trusting that I'm going to have enough spares to do this diamond painting, but you've seen I've already done two DMC substitutions. Um, oh my god, this is hard. Where is this three going? I've already done two DMC substitutions, and I'm not done yet. How many more DMC substitutions am I going to do? Possibly more. There's so much of this three. Three, it's, it's this one, I think. Ah, okay. It's much harder when they're not multi-placed. <laughs> this one is here. But yeah, kudos to the cross-stitchers. This is super difficult. This is difficult. Difficult. I don't know where this is. Okay, so that's in this line here. Minus with one, that's right there then. That's there. Okay. Oh my god, I messed up here. I messed up somewhere. I messed up. I messed up in some way, shape, or form. Because <laughs> this is wrong. No, it's right. Oh my god, I don't know how to count. Yeah, no, it's right. I thought it was wrong. Okay, I know how to count. I know how to count. Okay. Don't mind me. Just trying to get through this section here where I'm trying to ponder where I am on the canvas here. Just, yeah, I need concentration. Oh, that one there. And 
then I have two right there, and then five there, and then three right here. Oh my, that, 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 got that, I think. Okay. <laughs> my Pikachu is still kind of not Pikachu looking. Okay, I got this here. All right. So thanks, Teresa, for your question. Sheila Carr said, how do you make your cards? Do you have a machine that cuts them? Yes, I've been, I'm guessing uh, she asked this in a kidding down. So yes, um, my cards, I used my silhouette to cut them out. But prior to me having the silhouette, I bought some blank playing cards, which is linked in my Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's linked in my Amazon store and it's linked in um, a large amount of my Kidding Down videos. I probably linked it in a, pretty much all of them. Although I don't use them anymore, I have used them in the past and I do understand not everyone has the silhouette cutter that I do or even a Cricut one. So I, like I said, I, I have, I, I, my first set of cards, I cut them myself with just my paper cutter and they were not perfect, but, and it took forever to cut them out. It took a lot of time, but I did cut them myself. And then I found the blank playing cards on Amazon. It was like a box of 500, I think. on Amazon for like $7 and I used those and those actually worked really well and I would probably still be using them if I did not transfer to the 2 by 3 cards and found out that I could fit five across this way and I couldn't fit the 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 cards that I, the blank playing cards that way but it does fit three across if you move the box my photo box the other way. And I got these photo boxes from Joann's. The photo boxes, I believe the photo boxes from Michael's are a different size than the ones from Joann's. I think they're slightly bigger. So you might be able to fit more of those cards this direction too without having the, to cut it, but I did, but since I do have the silhouette, I figure use it to make the card size I want that will work for my system, for like, will work for my boxes. But if you watch some of my older kidding downs, I have changed out what I do just to make it prettier. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be one of those people who would do extra to make my boxes prettier because if you watched my very, very early, like early, early kidding downs, you might remember that I was using um, junk mail to cut my cards out because I didn't have cardstock and I was using and I was cutting it out myself and I was using baggies that I just got from diamond paintings because I had after you diamond paint as much as you have as I have you just accumulate a lot of baggies from diamond paintings it was only after uh, the 2 by 3 bags got went on sale on Amazon. The 4 mil 2 by 3 bags that went on sale on Amazon that I had, I, I guess, made the effort to make everything more uniform. But I think if it was not for that, I'd still be using my...
my bags that came from diamond paintings. My Pikachu is starting to come together here, I think. But yes, Sheila, I do have a machine that cuts the card. And I did at some point also cut the card myself. No, I mean, that's not right. It's that one. Thank you, Sheila. Um, Barbara asked, also oh, in one of my unboxings, I showed a wooden magnetic frame. You know, the ones that you put the frame on the top and the um, other wood on the, the bottom and then it has a string. And she said she has one of those frames, but I'm guessing you having problems with your diamond painting slipping out. I personally have not had problems with my diamond painting slipping out from the frames, but I remember someone left a comment on a video prior and she said that uh, she puts double-sided tape underneath also to help it not slip out. Um, but personally, I have not had to do that, but if maybe the one you got is not as strong of a magnet or the diamond painting you're putting on there is much bigger than mine. So perhaps I just not have not put in a heavy enough one that causes it to fall down. But, but yeah, I would say if, if yours is falling off your magnetic frame to add some double-sided tape to help it out, you might even need to add glue. Um, the double-sided tape will probably be more removable than glue. <laughs> But yeah, my, I, I have not had any issues with using the magnetic frame. I have, I have two, three, I have three that have been pretty stable. Like I have them, three of them up right now. And one of them is holding a, I think it's one of those 40 by 80s from, you know, those, the budget diamond painting companies instead of 40 by 80, like those long ones. I think those are 40 by 80s or 45 by 80. I don't know. I don't remember. And and then I have one from Crystal Canvas Art Designs that is pretty big too. That has been hung up on my wall for a while. So they've they have I have not had any issues with them falling off. And then I have my Mary's Diamonds one that I did a while back that has been hanging on my door for a while and it has not also fallen off either so maybe i've just been lucky in the magnets that i've been getting for my because i i don't have like a specific brand i just buy them because they go on sale and then I just have them uh, on reserve in case I want to use them because that's what I do. Buy things on sale and have them on reserve when I to when I need them. I think I got I think I got everything that's this three. So I, I didn't run out. Yay! <laughs> oh, well, I think I didn't run out because I for all I know I missed some. But I do have more drills, so I'll be able to go back to it. So I think I'm going to do two, which is the color in here. Two, 743. I actually have like several bags of this. Let's just use that one since it has the most. I kind of see a mixture of colors in here, but that's okay. It'll add texture <laughs> to my picture. <laughs> and they're not too different from each other, and that's why they probably got mixed in together. 
All right. So thank you, Barbara, for your question. Um, so Vicky asked in one of my Kidding Down videos is where can I purchase those boxes? It's a, actually a pretty old uh, one of my Kidding Down videos. I'm guessing you mean this bo box here. I got the box. It's a photo box from Joann's. Um, you could buy a photo box also from Michael's and Hobby Lobby. I think they're actually cheaper in Michael's and Hobby Lobby than they are in Joann's, but Joann's is the craft store that's in my um, town, city, whatever. I think my, my city, I think the place I live is considered a city. Um, even though I feel like it's a town because like it's tiny. Oh, I don't feel like it's a city, but, but yeah, I just got these from Joann's. Now, if you, yeah. Now the whole setup, I did a good chunk of the setting up myself. Well, pretty much all of the setting up myself. But yeah, these things are pretty, like every craft store should have them. Now, the colors, you they might not always be available. So if you want them all to match, be aware of that, that the next time you go to buy, if you need to expand, the color that you had previously gotten might not be available anymore. Um, I got like a blue sparkly one that is not available anymore. So I have one lone blue sparkly one, but that's okay. <laughs> but I, I know these gold ones are still available. And I got the gold ones just because I was like, this is diamond painting. They should be, my boxes should be sparkly. All right, thank you, Vicky. Barbara asked, uh, so this was in my um, video about my diamond painting journal. And she asked if the writing is printed directly on the page or printed on paper and glued to the page. So I did print the writing directly onto the page here. I usually this picture here is like a sticker that I stick onto my thing. And this is also usually a sticker that I stick on to my page here. I've gotten slightly fancier now that I, I just like was decided just to stop with the stickers and just print it directly on here. And I'll just have a pile. I just decided it like this weekend. I'm just going to start having a pile of logbook pages or my journal pages ready for me instead of having the stickers. But so now, yeah, I even printed the picture onto here also. It does take a little bit more effort for me to do it, but I figure it saves me from buying sticker paper. But yeah, this stuff is just printed directly onto the paper. I used to, my old, 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 old logbook which used to just be a spiral notebook or it was a spiral sketchbook because the sketchbook paper was a little bit thicker. It, what was I saying? Uh, I used to, what did I mean? I don't know. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong thing. That's why I was like, I used to um, print my logbook entry onto sticker paper and then stick it to the book because that's because it was on a spiral book, but with me printing these out as I go along, I just print it. I print the stuff directly onto the page there. And then the only thing I write is my comments and stuff because yeah, this is like, I have this with me and then I'm just writing in the thing while I'm doing it. And I, I guess I, I was, I used to just kind of write my comments onto a spreadsheet, but I just didn't like having to open my computer up if I wanted to write comments. So I've just, it's just easier for me to have a little notebook there. And I kind of like it. I kind of, it, it's nice and easy to hold to show when I'm doing my videos. And you know what? I started making these journals. Well, not, there's not as pretty as that. I started making it before I even had my channel. So it was one of the good things about it is that it was one of the good things about me doing that is when I actually did my channel, I had easy, an easy way of doing my reviews because I already documented a lot of stuff. So especially in the compilation videos where I do my multiple finishes of the year kind of videos, it was very helpful to have that information because do you think I remember something I did like 
a month ago? No. I barely remember sometimes the diamond paintings I just finished, like, two diamond paintings ago. Because I diamond paint a lot, so... The one diamond painting, like, they start blurring. Because I do so many. I do so many that I I document it in there. One, it I originally started that because there was a diamond painting, like my second ever diamond painting that I bought was such a bad quality diamond painting. I just got it off of Amazon. It was horrible quality that I started what I started making a spreadsheet of of the stores and things like that and ones I just didn't like. But I just didn't like having to open my spreadsheet to write comments, so then I started doing it on a book. And I still do have my old, old journals from when I started... I, I And it's just only this year that I started doing the disc-bound notebooks. Um, because I saw that, um... The Add More Zest, um, Rebecca from Add More Zest did a disbound notebook, but I already had my templates that I was using to stick onto my my paper on my my spiral sketchbooks. So I just was like, I could do, I could make, I could expand my my one and make it into these half sheets and cut it myself. So I did, I I did, I did. What do you call that? I did, I guess, invest in all the disbound stuff. So I did buy... The biggest expense was actually the hole punch. Um, but I have since heard folks say that they've been lucky and been able to find the hole punch at, at like, Goodwill and things like that. And at the time, I did not... have that so I bought the whole punch and that was my biggest expense um, and I bought also 28 pound paper so it's slightly thicker paper so that when I'm writing on it it doesn't bleed to the other side but that's the main thing and the 28 pound paper wasn't too expensive so and I have 500 of them so that's why I was like you know what I'm just gonna print it directly on the paper the 500 the 500 sheets of the paper is cheaper than me buying some label paper. Okay, no, I need one more up here. No, I don't. I don't need one more up there. Ah. <sighs> This is, this, no, this is wrong too, this should be down here, that, it's because I'm talking, <laughs> I can't talk, and that's wrong, there, that's correct now, um, but yeah, I, I did, I did, I guess, invest in some of the stuff but I'm I've been using them a lot and yeah there you go but and I'm pretty good at, at well I'm okay at the computer stuff I don't necessarily try to make it pretty and hence why if you see my my journal it's just very empty and I purposely didn't put lines in this thing also because I wanted to write as little or as big as I wanted to and it gives me a little bit more leeway when there's no lines um, because sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna write but yes I don't know what I was talking about <laughs> yes I did I do just print it on the paper 
So Catherine asked in last week's, last, last week's, kidding up, um, how do you do the drills on how many you need for the heaven and earth designs? So how, how I know how many I need for the heaven and earth designs? Do I have my notebook here? No, unfortunately my folder is, oh no, my folder is here. So I, in that video, I did truncate what I printed because I already, it's, it's like the fifth, sixth or whatever, um, heaven and earth designs that I've, I've printed out. Um, so I already knew that the, but my very first one, this one, which maybe if you've been watching my channel, you know, I finished these two already but this is one of the ginormous ones and i i just like that for the price of one i pretty much pretty much nine and i was doing all of them but on here this is how it originally gets printed out and you can see how much with dmc and how many drills you need and and this is like a stitch so i and they're pretty sure they only do like the full stitch so each full stitch is one diamond painting drill so that's how I know how much I need for each Heaven and Earth Designs color, at least. The... But yeah, on, on that video, I did just print like this really simple black and white image kind of thing because that's really all I needed was just that information and I just didn't want to have like three sheets of paper when I just needed like just that little bit of information. So what am I on? Okay, that's that part here. What, what am I doing? Which one am I doing? Is this What's number two is 743, okay. Sometimes I get lost and like, I have to like, remember which symbol I'm doing. And that's why usually when I'm diamond painting, I keep the, the bottle or something of what I'm working on out so that I know what I'm working on. Cause it's very easy to get distracted, especially when you're talking and doing this at the same time. All right, so thank you, Catherine. I'm surprised I'm even. Rita Wilson, maybe I miss you saying it, but if the pattern is a cross stitch, how do you convert it to drills needed, color and quantity? So I did just kind of answer that. Um, it was in the pattern, it said how many stitches. So I just followed how many stitches. I do think that in some, cross stitch patterns, maybe like this, it doesn't bother telling you quantity, um, but the heaven and earth designs does have a quantity in there. So it worked out and I just didn't, sh I just didn't print out the, the many page version of what heaven and earth designs gave. Perhaps I should have, but I just, just didn't want to waste the paper <laughs> and I just didn't want to waste the ink. But yeah, no, they, they do, they do nicely at least tell you how many stitches you need for the pattern. Thank you, Rita. Okay. So see, this is why sometimes I don't, I don't realize that I, Sometimes when I talk, I kind of forget that not everyone has watched every single one of my videos. And I know I have a lot of videos. Um, <laughs> yeah, now sometimes I feel like I should do more of an explainy sometimes. And then I just kind of forget that you might not know what I'm talking about. Um, but Teresa asked um you say you got the symbols and how much you needed but i didn't hear where you got them from so yeah they were from after you purchase 
the well before you purchase it you can get the the um the usage chart and it does have what dmc's and how many stitches you need so that's where i got it from from that um they call it like the usage chart and then after you buy it you get the pattern and the usage chart also there too um, and it does pretty much tell me how much I need for each color. And the to make the labels, I actually, in that video, I um, linked the my a video that I made last year. Or earlier this year, I don't think it was last year, it was just earlier this year where I showed how I made my label for my heaven, my like my previous heaven and earth designs. So I didn't, I didn't do that. Perhaps the next one that I kid up, I might just start all the way from am I doing this wrong? Where is this? I might start the video from me making the, maybe I should do that, start, it'll be a really long video, um, start the video with me making the, what's wrong, making the labels, because yeah, no, my video was from earlier in the year when I was kidding up my when I was kidding up, actually, this one here. Nope, nope. When I was kidding this up, I made I made a video on how I made the labels for that one. But I also kind of did like a whole like let's explain all of some stuff. So I like I I, I did link that video on the description. So, That, I think I got that. Yeah, I think that's right. And then that is the other color. And that's that one. And there. I think my Pikachu is coming together. It's starting to look Pikachu-y. pikachu, -y. pikachu -y. <laughs> Okay. I think I think I got it all. If I didn't, I'll find out as I keep going. I I will probably finish oh, camera. this. Maybe. Cause Yeah. We will see. Um but yeah, no, I made the labels so to, for Teresa's things. I made the labels. Um, wait, let me get my next color. I'm going to do an easy one. We'll do this line here. Whatever the line is. 3078. No, I don't have any. 3078. I need a TFC substitution. I think this is what the third one that I haven't had. Let's see. So it seems like 745 is what they're telling me to use. I don't need that much. So I have a I have some 745. There must be some drills from my mom because there's, there's still trash in it. And that one. Some. Some wax. Some wax. There. 
All right. So, what was I ans answering? Oh, and then I, I I didn't I didn't use the Zyron sticker maker for the labels. I just printed on label paper, but you could do it. Um, and yes, I did actually have to buy the program that I was using. If you watch if you watch my previous whip and chat when I was doing or like two whip and chats ago I think when I was doing this pattern I was using pattern keeper I did have to purchase it but it was I think it was only, it was only ten dollars um, so not too expensive of a purchase and as far as I know I it's ten dollars period not one of this one of those ones that ask you to pay ten dollars a year so and I, I really like it. I think it really helped because I'm not doing this where I'm on a piece of paper like pointing to make sure I'm getting it. And it helps me keep track because with the Heaven Earth Designs ones, those, th th those things have like so many colors. I don't know if I could keep track and they're not, they're not as easy as this. This one is easy compared to that. So yes, I did have to buy it, but it was, I thought, a pretty good deal. Thank you, Teresa. Teresa, I don't know how to pronounce it. My Filipino in me wants to pronounce it Teresa. Um, my, my American wants to pronounce it Teresa. Um, uh, thank you. Thank, so... In my journal video, she wanted to ask where did I get my flowers and pumpkins. Um, do you do you have an unboxing or completion of it? I probably do. I'll have to look up what actual picture that is, and I'll put the link when I actually respond back to this. I don't know. Um, but yeah, right now I'm like, don't know, don't remember. I'd have to look it up. So I think I need to look for my next color, which I think I'll do this brown here. This brown, which is 433. Okay. So I think a large amount of this is going to be hard still. Harder. Yeah, I don't know, this whole white, the circles. I don't know if this would be easier with the pattern keeper. Okay, so Sarah Morris asked in my last kidding up for like two weeks ago, Heaven and Earth Designs one, she asked what size the scoop is and where I got my funnel. So the funnel here, this funnel, I got it from um, Bella Art and Nicole. Um, I think it was like five dollars. And this scoop here is half teaspoon scoop. I think it's too big for 200 drills if you overflow it, but I think if you kind of just like, it probably is close to 200 drills. Because I remember testing it when I got those little packets with the 200, I put it in here, and it did pretty much fill this up, but I think it was more like I was doing heaping teaspoons, half teaspoon, this is a half teaspoon. Um, I was doing heaping um, spoons instead of a nice leveled spoon. So I think, yeah, that's a half teaspoon. So Barbara asked, um, when, when the drills are really close in color, does it make a difference on the canvas picture? Personally, I don't think it'll make that big of a difference if it's not in a color block section. If it is in a color block section, it might make a difference on the canvas, especially if you go from one shade to another. But if you have the multiple shades and maybe mix them together, it might not be that noticeable. But I think it just depends. Yeah, if it's a close enough shade, I don't think it will make a um, difference. If they're a really big difference in shade, I really do think it will. It, I think it might make a difference in the final picture. Because I have some DMCs where the two shades in there are just completely different. And I just can't see how 
using one over the other wouldn't drastically change your image. But I figure if you stick to at least one, it would at least shade similarly as opposed to... Did I do this wrong? I did this wrong. Okay, this one goes here. But yeah, I think if it's if it's a close enough shade, it won't make a difference. Like I can see right now, I have two slightly different shades, but they're just so slight that I, if if I wasn't looking at it closely, I don't think you could tell. But I could tell. <laughs> that one is that one and that one is that one. So thank you, Barbara. Um, so. Barbara also asked, um, I talk about my silhouette, can I, can I, can we see it demonstrated at some point? Uh, yeah, see, the thing, the thing is, I'm actually, I don't think I'm that good at using it, that I could show it at some point. I just realized I missed some 310 here. I could show it at some point, but I don't know if, I guess I could show it with my bumbling efforts. <laughs> If I had something to cut out, um, I could show it with my with my non expertise because I think it's one of those ones that it's no that is I already have it no it's this part and I was like what part am I trying to do it's this here I could show my bumbling through it I like I could use it enough I think that I could get by on most on simple things I don't know if I could use it. To do anything intricate but I could show it at some point maybe in the future it but yeah no I'm in no way uh, an expert at using it I just kind of get by and so oh my gosh I hate when that happens and sometimes it's It's one of those like love-hate relationships because you're like, no, why won't you just do what I want you to do? And like there was one time I, I could not understand why it wouldn't cut um, my, what I was wanting to cut. Like I, I was like, it was just not working. And you know what I had to do to fix it? Which I should have just done in the first place is turn it off and then turn it on. And I didn't change a thing at all and all I did was turn the thing on and then turn it off and guess what it worked there was no indication why it was going through and not cutting what was happening it was going through the whole motion and when you took it out I was like it didn't cut anything and I was like I didn't know what was wrong I thought everything the alignment was wrong and things like that and I did a whole bunch of things and I was like you know what let's let's just turn it off and on that's all I need to do. So now anytime weird something weird happens, I'm just going to turn it off and on because that is what I do at work when one of my scientific um, instruments don't work. Guess what I do is I turn it off and on. And lots of times that is the fix to any. That's the fix to lots of, lots of um, technology is turn it off and on. But sometimes it's not the first thing you think of doing because you're like, I don't know why that would be the thing. But yeah, that's the fix to everything. But yeah, no, maybe, maybe in the future when I actually have something that I want to cut, um, I'll show it on the channel. But yeah, like I said, I'm in no way, shape or form an expert on it. It's uh, one of those I get by. I can usually make something I want. Lots of times. I did buy some some um, iron on vinyl because I wanted to try making a t-shirt. I bought some really cheap one during like Prime Day. And I, I still haven't done anything to it. It's, it's, I got it and it's way past return date, so even if it's bad, I'm gonna still have to keep it. Um, but yeah, it was one, and then I bought some like three dollar cheap three dollar t-shirts from Walmart because I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just buy some 
t-shirts to test this out. Haven't still haven't done it, so it's it's in there. I don't I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll we'll see. I don't know. See the thing is, this is where I ran a problem in when I was doing other crafts is that you kind of have to figure out a plan. Like for the silhouette, I have to figure out what am I actually going to cut out. And you have to make a plan there. And I think that's where I fail in most other crafts is I just don't think I'm creative enough to go from zero and to make something. So I need, I need the... What am I looking at? This is this. I need the plan. Like I can't, I can't do go from nothing. I need, I need the plan. And so that's why I think I like diamond painting so much is guess what? The plan, the pattern, the stuff was already made for me. Okay, this is where I went wrong. This should be over there. That's why I was like, why does this look weird? Um, the plan is already made like this. The pattern is already made. Maybe I would like cross stitch, but I think it would just take too long for me. That at some point I just get frustrated with it, but I don't know. I haven't tried it out yet. And I'm not a biggest fan of sewing and I figure I'd, I'd probably stick my, the, my fingers with the needle all the time. So yeah, I think that's the reason I like diamond painting so much is that I don't have to do so much thinking because the pattern is there. Although I'm doing a lot of thinking right now, so I don't know why, <laughs> why I'm doing this, but, um, but I started, I'm almost done. So might as well keep going, might as well keep going. So yeah, perhaps in the future, I'll demonstrate it. So Miss Yankee asks, so you prefer square over round? I've only completed two square diamond paintings and I'm no fan, but I'm working on new ones, so we'll see. Yeah, squares are one of those, like, um, ones where if it's not the best quality, you start pondering why you're even doing a, why you're, why you're torturing yourself with the square. Um, that's that I've, I've gone back and forth with it, especially after doing a round and then finishing it and seeing how much like rounds I feel like are, are more sparkly than squares because squares don't sparkle as more. I think rounds kind of twinkle more while, while, um, squares kind of are more like a nice sheen. Does that make sense? And my Pikachu is kind of starting up, it's starting to... Pick up, it looks very Pikachu-y. Pikachu -y here. So yeah, I, I get I get the frustration. I've probably lived the same frustration. I've probably pondered why in the world I even do squares. But for whatever reason, they are still my favorite. Even, but I've also been a little bit more more selective I guess on the squares that if I didn't like it like the square quality before I usually don't go back and buy more so 646 from that so once I have squares that I kind of like I kind of go back to it and I'm almost reluctant to recommend some because I've had good success with some and folks have told me they didn't have the good success with some and maybe I'm just I just have a different tolerance for <laughs> quality than some folks but yeah I would if you're I would recommend trying one of the like premium diamond painting companies for the square it might be a lot of it might be a big ask because it's they're big but if you haven't had success with ones but I know some people just don't like them and prefer rounds and 
that's okay too. But for whatever reason, I just enjoy it more when it's a square. I don't know why. Even though, like I said, sometimes, sometimes there is frustrations with them because the quality of the squares matters a lot more than the qualities for, for round drills because you get the popping and the gapping and those frustrations are usually not in round but are with squares but for whatever reason like I said I don't know why I enjoy them more uh, I, I think I just kind of like them all fitting nice together um, and they don't always all fit nicely together but I kind of usually like that So this actually, they say to use white, um, but what's the background? 3865. But I guess, I guess in cross stitch, you don't actually have to stitch the background, right? You could just leave it white. So I think this is what this is. It's like you're only stitching the certain part and then the rest you leave just unstitched right so the background which I'm probably going to choose some background color I was thinking of using um, the clear rhinestones just so that the Pikachu would stand out more instead of white drills or I might just use white it'll depend on which one I have more of um, but yeah there's my Pikachu here So yeah, I, I, I understand. There's been times I, I, I ponder whether I should quit doing squares and then I like question my sanity because I'm like, why would you want to quit squares? They're your favorite. Because, and then I question my sanity, why they're my favorite. <laughs> or one three. So what's the, what's what, which one's 413? I don't even remember. Okay, it's the upside down Y. I don't have that many of this one. Okay, so the upside down Y. It's harder to see because it's like really dark on this print. And I have a random black drill there. The upside down Y. I probably could have finished this much faster if I was not doing this on camera, but hey, thanks for joining me on my, apparently I like to challenge myself and do things like this. <laughs> okay, so next question. Sheila Carr think, asked me what kind of tape do you use around the edge of your canvas when diamond painting? Is it washi tape or something else? Um, I have found that to me, maybe I just have cheap washi tape, that my washi tape tends to start peeling off the edges of my diamond paintings. So I've been using um, masking tape primarily. Pra masking tape tends to, at least for me, stick to the canvas without peeling off. So, and, and since I do cut out pretty much all my diamond paintings and put them, either frame them or put them in my portfolio, I've been using black masking tape so that when I cut them out and put them onto my black background, it's not as, I'm hoping that I don't see like the white background. I don't see any more of this one. All right. So now there's an upside down V, which is also another gray, but it's a different gray. So 317. So thank you, Sheila. Okay, Rana asked, um, I have a lot of old style cross stitch patterns that will work. You start with a blank canvas and follow the chart or you can get them printed out. 
I'm still debating whether to keep my leftovers. I haven't figured it out. Thanks for an inspiration. I guess yours yours got put in there uh, as a asked a question, but there's no question. So yeah, I'm just using um, YouTube's filter for their comments, and I just filtered it as contains questions. But but yeah, like like I'm doing cross stitch pattern right now as a diamond painting. It's actually not turning out too bad. I, with the whole white background, which I was, lots of it was, I was concerned about. And I don't know if I'll still do a heaven and earth designs cross stitch pattern with my white, um, with my round drills. Just because I think these circles are bothering me. <laughs> but, but yeah, here is me, apparently torturing myself more than I need to, apparent. So, do I need it? Is this all the beads? That's all I needed. All I need. Oh, no, I there's some more over here. But, yeah, I'm doing a cross-stitch pattern. A simple one, because, like I said, I wanted to test out the white background for a this is actually a lot more of a white background than I thought. <laughs> All right, Deborah asked, do you have a crystal code chart by any chance? Thank you. Um, I do have a chart that someone gave me. Um, it's in my shared folder drive. And it's just like an Excel spreadsheet that has like a conversion to DMC, if that's what you're asking. But yeah, it's in my shared, um, my shared, my shared templates folder. So K, the sideways K is 831. So thanks, Deborah. So Julie said, holy moly, you're working on a blank canvas and putting colors based on a cross stitch pattern. And I'm doing it again now. <laughs> um, and this was in my whip and chat, my like two whip and chats ago. Um, you're quite patient. Oh, I see. She, she made it question mark because she's questioning my sanity. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I question my sanity too. And that's where my that's where this got filtered as a question. Thank you. Yes, I know. It, it, it is more difficult than just doing a regular diamond painting that already has the canvas printed with your, um, with the pattern in there. But apparently, I like to challenge myself because I'm, like I said, I quest, sometimes I question my sanity too. <laughs> I like to challenge myself, and this is me challenging myself. What? This... I'm, I'm getting to the harder parts of this one when, you know, when you have so much fewer things that are not bunch of color blocked sections there and that is there I got that Okay, now let's go up at the top of this yellow balloon. And that's that one. And then that. This. And then two. I think I've gotten, I don't know, a little bit more used to it now. And... There, I got all of that. 
there. And yep, my Pikachu is coming up. My Pikachu is showing up here. There's four here. I think I just need a little bit more concentration on this just because I'm like trying. It's not all a nice color blocked section. I wish. I wish. And I usually don't mind when things are not color blocked because that gets boring, but it is much harder for this. Okay. There's that K. K here. There. And, oops. And there. There, there, there. And that. That one. That one. Do I have I did that one already. I need K right there. I think I got all the K. Okay. Where's my bag? Oh, there it is. Okay, I think. I'm going to do this one with the four dots at 720. This one, this one has some more orange spice. All right. Thank you, Julie. Okay. So diamond painting 6,000 asked Joan, if you had the opportunity, opportunity to buy whatever diamond painting you like, no matter the price, which company would you buy from? Oh, let's see. No matter the price, I guess if I had an unlimited budget, hmm. See, the thing is, I kind of feel like I'm not. I'm not a. I'm. I feel like I'm like, I'm loyal to no diamond painting company, and and I feel like there's pros and cons to a lot of the diamond painting companies. So if 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 I could create a mixture of a couple diamond painting companies that I think would end up being my ultimate one. That's how I'm going to answer this. Wait, let me, the two lines, three, seven, seven, eight. Cause so you might, I have said it, um, where I said squares are my favorite, but I feel like there has been it's been a little bit of a mix match of my there's a I have I've had like mixed feelings about some of the quality of squares that and I wish I could just like marry kind of two companies together kind of thing and so this might be a little bit of a different um, opinion than a lot of folks, but I actually semi prefer the um, computer generated pictures than um, hand charted ones, mainly because I feel like when they're done well, they actually look much more like the original image than a four, three, eight, five, two. They look much more like the original image than the than the you know hand rendered ones but i kind of like I, I think there are some companies that probably do a computer generated with touches of hand charting and i think that's probably a better way of going because there's some companies i think that overdo the hand charting a little bit that it it takes away from the original image but I think if I were to go like um, which companies I feel like do the renderings better 
I kind of think that if you get a big enough size that I think that who can does render their pictures, their computer generated pictures pretty well. Um, but their drills are not the best that you get popping on their diamond paintings and yeah. So I like their rendering, but their drills are not the best. And other companies on out, see the thing is my, I feel like I've had the best experience doing squares from AliExpress diamond painting companies, mainly because a lot of, there are a, like, like, you know, places like, um, that uses like the resin drills, you know, like Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs, Craftably, they use the resin drills and they're awesome quality. I just wish there was less gapping on their canvases. So if all three of those ones that I just mentioned, if they started printing their canvases the correct size and not had so much gapping, I would probably be, I would probably buy more of them. So, but I've gotten the least amount of gapping from diamond paintings from AliExpress. And I personally enjoy the diamond painting, especially squares more when there is minimal gapping, because that's the whole point of squares is there's supposed to be no gaps between the drills. So I'm like kind of going around the answering of this question, mainly because I feel like I wouldn't buy from a place that had Oh, I forgot to do like a whole bunch of this. This section is number two. I missed this. Um, this is all two, except this is four, which I'm doing right now. The rest of that is two. But yeah, I'm kind of kind of going around the question because I don't feel like at this point I have. I don't feel like I've gotten like the ultimate diamond painting experience yet <laughs> because what I want and what I get is not always it's not always the case but yeah but you know the the diamond paintings from AliExpress sometimes don't have the best quality they don't have any licensed images and sometimes the renderings are not the best so what I would probably prefer is some place that was rendered like Hua can, but with the quality of drills as like Evermoment, but um, have a tiny bit of hand charting to to like to make a little pieces sharper. <laughs> so I feel like the company doesn't exist yet. So. 743. I'm actually almost done. All I have left is this here and then the background. But yeah, if, if, if it were up to me, if I was going to just buy an unlimited amount of diamond paintings, I would probably, and this is just based off of my diamond painting taste, I'd probably buy a whole bunch of landscapes. It'll just be like landscape here, landscape there. And if I had unlimited time and I could actually finish these things, I would be buying a whole bunch of landscapes because they just turn out, they just look beautiful. I just don't have unlimited time because unfortunately landscapes do much better, bigger than smaller. So, and I forgot to do the white of the eyes here. But I think, I think I actually, I think that's wrong. Is this wrong? Yeah, that's wrong. I think I'm actually done. 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 Except I need to put white on the eyes. Let me, because I forgot to diamond paint that part. But 
some white here in the eyes. But yeah, did I answer it that I, oh, I would, if I had unlimited resources, I'd just buy landscapes. <laughs> A whole bunch of landscapes. But I kind of feel like my diamond painting preferences is like different than a lot of people because I see I see some diamond paintings come out and I'm just like, would anyone really want to diamond paint that? But I, that could just be me. So there is my finish here. I don't know. What do you think? Can you see the white background? Um, even though the, the background is white, can you see it? Does it look not too bad? I actually, I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised with how this looks. I thought the white background would be really, really noticeable, but perhaps not. Um, so it might work out. It might. So yeah, here's my Pikachu here. All I have left is to do the massively white background. Should I just cut it and make it smaller? Because do I really need that much of a white background? Should I just be like, make a 15 by 15 perhaps? Yeah, when I was looking at it, I was like, it's like, it's not that much more extra. Now that I'm looking, I'm like, that's a lot of white background. <laughs> so that's all I have for now. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.